Binance just delisted Monero. Is this the end of Monero? Are we seeing the beginning of the full on collapse of the Monero token? My thoughts and more. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome to Black Box Trading. I am your host, JT. Here on the channel, we focus on Bitcoin fundamental and technical analysis, as well as all of the things that are developing in the ordinal space. If you not, are not already subscribed, I want to invite you to hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to join the Discord where we are answering all of your questions in real time. Okay, Monero. Monero just got delisted from Binance and everybody has paper handed Monero. They, they think that uh, in order for Monero to succeed it has to be on Binance you can't succeed if you're not on Binance and I'm here to tell you that this is a paper-handed move this is this is bull crap and uh, there is a huge buy the dip opportunity here that we already gave out and gave some live signals to the group uh, since that signal everybody in the group basically made 25% overnight so congratulations to the private group Con congratulations to the convicted blood-sucking dip buyers because it's it's a fantastic fundamentally sound project it is a fundamentally sound project and just because it's not listed on Binance doesn't mean jack but let's see if we can dive in and dissect this a little bit further into the charts so yeah we have this nasty nasty weekly uh candle here we're gonna get a week uh, a nasty weekly close on this it might fully recover actually uh we took a position uh, the call went out at around a hundred and sixteen dollars took a position at 110 currently up 15 percent on the uh tether pair uh but this you know let's label this from a wyckoff perspective from a wyckoff perspective this is a fantastic accumulation range. You know, you got your seller's climax right here. For those who uh, are interested in learning more about the Wyckoff method, come into the Discord, get into the VIP, and I have a whole course uh, teaching you everything you need to know about the Wyckoff method. Uh, automatic reality rally up here. And, uh, you know, we didn't get our sign of strength. But, uh, you know, this I'm going to classify as a spring. Just given the price action, this is a spring. Oh, I can change it like this. This is a spring. A spring is when you come down and test the lower end of the range, test the liquidity, and then boom, you get a very strong rebound. The market has made a mistake. I'm telling you, the market thinks that Monero needs Binance to survive. That's just wrong. They don't. This is a fundamentally sound project. We have had a shakeup in liquidity. We have had a shakeup in the order books. Uh, I anticipate this to uh, fully recover and maybe even begin to break out of this range. Once we break out of the uh, trading range, and specifically once we get above this level of $186, uh, I anticipate that this will, will change the trend and we will transition from trading sideways to actually beginning an uptrend and uh, preparing for the next kind of move as the bull market continues. Context is everything. We are in a bull market. The big players are trying to shake you out. I wouldn't be surprised if CZ and other people inside of Binance were buying heavily before the delisting and moving it over to cold storage. Uh, you know, it is what it is. People are, are freaking out. They, they decided to sell their Monero as opposed to just move it off of the exchange. That's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. But, you know, this is a classic, classic, classic buy the dip scenario. If we turn on Alpha Numetrics 2, we got a signal here on the daily. Beautiful green diamond signal. If you bought that green diamond, you would have done better than me on the, on the entry. It got you in at 104. If you bought that green diamond at the close, you're now sitting on a 25% profit. So very strong signals. This is not over. I think that this was a mistake by the market. We'll see how it hashes out. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys hold Monero? Do you believe in Monero? Do you think that it's a better product than Bitcoin? It certainly is from a privacy point of view. But uh, yeah, this is a, a fundamentally very one of the stronger projects in cryptocurrency. In my opinion, I'm a big fan of Monero. It makes privacy very easy. It's very liquid. It's uh, it's a very a well run community based project. I think that there that Monero has a lot of things going for it. 
And as, uh, as Bitcoin enters a high fee environment, we're going to see a lot of these competitors come to the surface and people will be asking, well, maybe, you know, are there alternatives out there to moving currency around the world in a private way? Monero is certainly that. If you guys enjoyed this content, please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out blackbox.pro. That is blkbox.pro. You can scan the QR code that is popping up on the screen right now. And uh, that will allow you to sign up for your free Bitcoin trading bot that will outperform the market, buy the bottom, sell the tops, never miss a move again with Blackbox. That is all the time I have for today. So please trade safe. It is jungle out there. Peace.